about an agreement today. Could we talk about the bridge financing, for instance? I think, uh, given the situation, after the no vote in Greece, we need to hear from the Greek government first how they see a way out, how they think we can come to an agreement. So I'm going to listen to my uh, new Greek colleague first. I'm going to meet him before the meeting, listen to their proposals, their thinking about the way out, uh, and then we'll take it uh, step by step. Thanks. Thanks very much for coming over. Um, can I ask you, firstly, um, do you think there is the basis to restore trust now in the relationship because there is a new Greek finance minister? Well, in my mind, it's not about persons. It's about where we stand uh, politically after the no referendum. And um, the no basically means that the old proposals have been rejected by the Greek people. And we'll have to take it from there. It's going to be very difficult. But we will await uh, new proposals uh, from the Greek government. Hopefully, they'll have them today. And we can see whether they are credible and whether that could be a way out. Aren't the proposals already in? Aren't they being studied? Don't we have a version of um, the Juncker plan as existed previously, with some exclusions regarding pensions and VAT for the islands? I don't know. You seem to have them. Uh, I'm going in to, just, to hear from my Greek colleague. Just one last question, then. Markets have actually calmed down. We've seen a lot less volatility today. Do you think now that people in the markets have a better understanding of how robust the euro system is and how clear the commitment from the ECB and others to make sure that there will not be an, a disorderly exit if it ultimately comes? Well, I think over the last weeks and months the Eurogroup has been very united in its stance and its stance basically means that we are prepared to do whatever it takes to, to strengthen the Eurozone to keep together. Uh, and secondly, that we cannot have an outcome of this process which damages our credibility. And that is also the basic sort of criteria for any package that we would agree with the Greeks. It has to be credible, both for the future of Greece as well as the credibility of the Eurozone as a whole. Uh, so that's what we're going to work on today and hopefully get a solution. All right, thank you.